Okay. Okay. I can't do. That. I need. I need to get somebody else on commentary. I. I. I need somebody else. You want to get on Fizz? Cal, don't gotcha. leave. Don't leave me alone, dude. Okay. Yeah, you you have one set minimum. Okay, go for it. All right. Because oh, oh my goodness, that's where, where is he going? Like bathroom or something? Yeah. Yes. All go right. Use so that was a, that was a great set. That was like all all five games were last hit, last stock. That was some really good play there. No flubs from uh, anybody in the last time. Usually you'll you'll start seeing some flubs, like last game, last stock, last hit. You need this to reset the bracket. All right. So they started on here during the first set. Yes. And then uh, I know Dwight lost by the bomb, and then Salty run back, and then uh, got and it back. Won. So um, so uh, Dwight, he's uh, I know Dwight in his head. I, I think he knows he can win here. That's why he did the uh, run back. Beer versus Nairu is really good job. All right, great stuff by Dwight. Um, I maybe I don't know how Dwight, how confident Dwight is, but maybe. There's been so many situations. Oh, nice coverage. Um, where he like does a sh he shields a turn up and then the turn up just kind of falls. Like maybe he could grab it. I don't know. It's tough to do. But the question is, would he want to grab it? Like, yeah. Really, he would be able to chuck it back, but I. Oh wow, perfect. If he got like caught by that once. The uh, down smash at the ledge stage spike. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't want that to happen again. Yeah, but uh, yeah, you're right. Zelda might not have the best throw, but um, in the perfect world, he would just aerial glide toss every single turn up. But you know, it's so it's so hard to do. Already on YouTube. So um, Dwight taking the first stock. Nice. All right, at a and now big another ad. Advantageous <gasps> position. Oh, oh man, no second jump. This is a no. great. This is a great spot. Oh, man. Right, yeah, second yeah. jump. Dwight already starting this game is so in control. Oh, I think. Uh, all right, my co-commentator, he's bouncing. We're getting somebody else, Mr. Cow. Oh, I can hear. Hey. What's up? All right. Well, welcome. Oh, yo. How's it going? So you missed the set. Set one is like every single game was last hit, last stock. I so I I saw, I saw the very end of it, and I was like, Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's happening. It's like that, but like all five games were like that. You missed. Wow. Uh, what else? You missed three bomb bombs. Like, <laughs> fi like five stitches. Really? Yeah. Any any reflections? Um. No. Most of like two of them just got shielded, and then one of them was the end of game one. He just threw a bomb and killed Dwight, and it was sad. But <laughs> yeah, um, man, this is so <laughs> double I, I, double I, floaties. I I I don't feel bad at all getting double eliminated by Dwight now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, I, I'm he's like, yeah. I mean, he might win, so you know, yeah, it, it, it's it's possible. Yeah, Dwight's really good. He just almost never shows up. I know he uh, right. net plays a lot. Yeah, major net play warrior for sure. And he's he's, he's oh he's doing that crazy yeah. side uh, the, yeah, the, the thin's fire trick. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, no, I'm, not, I'm not sure what that's called, but <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of like just avoiding it. Sort of circle you. Right. But um. Just yeah, creating a hitbox around you. <laughs> wow. Okay. Ooh. So what what. <laughs> Anything that you and Dan pointed out about this matchup, really, that's like um, pretty interesting or like looks really hard for something, or um, well, oh, um, basically, Dwight has been doing really good with Din's fire, uh -huh. and uh, as you as you know, you have probably played light, but yeah. uh, he's he camps a lot and he's yeah. really good at it. But um, Dwight has been kind of oh no, he's almost been out camping him. With yeah, the he's Din's he's pretty fire. much been out camping him. He's making light approach actually. Yeah, and, kind of. And Dwight's uh, light's approach is really good, but um, when when light starts going for too many aggressive options, I, I, it kind of hinders him. But um, Dwight with the SD kind of sucks. Yeah. Ooh, Although that, almost, uh, that was that was almost a quick kill though. So. Oh, oh. That, that was almost it too. Oh, oh that's wow. It. That nope. I think he might have been crouching. Who knows? I <gasps> 
that was a was that a bomb? Oh, that was a bomb. That was oh my gosh, that almost killed. That's so. That's the fourth bomb. It's ridiculous. All wow. Right. Okay. All right. So Dwight can bring this back. Yeah, it, it's definitely possible. After getting hit with a bomb, Mole's dying at 65. It's rough. One thing too is like, if Dwight decides to like teleport away, like Peach just can't follow. Yeah. Him. She's just too slow. It's like, both characters kind of have that, where like, if Peach is recovering and she'll just float into the middle of the stage and like, Zelda can't do anything and Zelda can teleport. So it's usually like, edge guarding. all I've seen is just, oh, I'll just throw a projectile at you, and that's like the whole edge guard, and that's it. Right. Okay, so... <laughs> if Dwight did an SD, that would've been much, much yeah, closer. Yeah, it would've been, alright, are we going back to Smashville? Like, this is what happened set one. He went, he picked Smashville again. We might say Stadium. He, I know he went Stadium um, in the first set. <clears throat> well, uh, oh, I just noticed, by the way, that we have chat. As yeah, well. um, pretty much only David. Let's go, David. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, David. <laughs> I didn't even notice yeah. any of this until just now, and I was like, oh, look, there's my name. <laughs> yeah, David saying, let's go light in his, uh, in his yeah. house. <laughs> I, I, I said I said it over here to yeah. try to, to try to sub in. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a New Mexico tournament if you don't hear. Let's go light a couple times. Yeah, it just something was missing today. Yeah, you're and, like uh, something feels off. Yeah, I just decided to just fill in. Okay, so yeah, yeah David retired. Got to take his spot, man. I, I yep, pretty much. I just I do not have a voice that carries like the twins. Though, yeah, so it's just, it's just not the same. Oh wow, his float was. I didn't think he'd be able to float that long. Thanks, David. Appreciate that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Dwight is is so good, too, at shortening the teleport yeah, to, like, I, getting never, where he needs to be. Out of all I've seen of him, like, ever, I've never seen him, like, miss a teleport cancel. Right. Like, he gets it every time, just because he's been playing this character for, like, God yeah. knows how long. Oh, my gosh. All right. So, I... <laughs> I made him an offer in bracket that he didn't take. It was... Oh. I, I, I offered... I offered... It. If you play anyone but Zelda, I'll play Popo only. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he, he refused. He, he refused. <laughs> oh wow! Wow, that, that okay. that's the first time that, I've seen that kill. Yeah, that's um, mostly unused Zelda tech, probably yeah. right there. <laughs> he, he hit him with it a few times. He's hit him with it a few times, but just doesn't kill. It's not that strong. Right. Ooh. Yeah, I saw your Ganon though. I, I, I tried, man. Yeah, I, I, said, I, I said you were preparing to fight Light in Grand. That, that's what I. That's what I told Light as soon as I was done. Like, I was, I was like, like, I was like, warmed up. I was like, you know, why I just went Ganon three games in a row, right? It was just to warm up for you. It had nothing to do with Dwight. <laughs> See, now everyone's gonna pick Ganon against them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Everyone else is, everyone's Ganons are bad. Yeah, like, mine's is, mine is horrible. I, I mean, <laughs> I know you ha you have a secondary Ganon. Yeah. <laughs> but like, but that's all my characters are secondaries. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're all bad. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, I I think that uh, light. Li likes the stage for the reason of having that platform to like just chuck yeah. turnips when, from. When the platform goes off stage, like like where it yeah. is now, and he's on top of it, there's like he can just spam turnips. Right. Oh, nice. And there's nothing Zelda can do about it. Right. And uh, he'll usually take advantage of that. Like right when the platform kind of like hovers off stage, he'll just spam down B. Right. And just and, be like, please and stitch. That, that, and I, yeah, I know. Get that bomb. <laughs> can we get five bombs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the difference between uh, Stitch and Bomb in terms of like knockback and damage? Do you know? Bomb is a lot more knockback, and Stitch. I think Stitch does like 30 percent, and Melee does a lot of percent. I think Stitch does the same amount of percent as a Bomb, but Bomb does more more knockback. But you can keep getting a Stitch. You can keep re-grabbing your Stitch face over and over. Again. Oh my gosh, he just got a Bomb, and never mind. <laughs> that was. Oh, he got, he got another Bomb. My God. He got another it's Bomb. Ridiculous. It, it didn't end up hitting, but yeah. It, the idea was actually kind of All right, interesting. Yeah, who knows the chances of a bomb? Is it like one five twelve? I have no idea, man. David, you you've played enough with light. You probably know. <laughs> yeah, I, it's super rare. So, but so no beam swords? No beam swords yet. Thank God. I think beam swords way worse than bomb. I would say. Because <laughs> like beam sword is like you're gonna lose your stock. I I just I want to see 
lightsaber. Um, <laughs> have you seen in PM? It's gigantic. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Disgusting. They're like, th dude, the forward tilt with with the beam sword. I, know, I, I know, think yeah. is the most broken oh! part. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know Peach's dash good. attack with uh, the saber, like kind of like swings it in the air for some reason. Right. All right. Yeah. So Dwight's kind of had a consistent lead. Usually he'll like take the stock and then like light will just immediately take it, take his. And golf club. Oh yeah. Also, he did counterpick Smashville just like in the first set. Uh, I'm the worst at math. I'll look it up. Thank you. <laughs> you don't. You don't have to. I'm just messing with you. Oh, My, okay. Like I see. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Like, that. Yeah. Like you don't see that from light too often. Yeah. And and I, you know what? He would do so much better if he keeps doing that type of stuff. Yeah. In my opinion, because like. That was like a raw call out. There's the stupid. Dwight is not used to being able to like be edge guarded. Yeah. Like, against his character. Against it's PJ, like, you don't see that. Like, but like. Dwight just gets like, I'll just throw Dins by edge and I can yeah. teleport there. And like, it's like so free. That's that's something you see like a lot of Peaches do that are like top. Like if you, you'll see Armada go off stage for the edge guards against Spaceys, but Light will just opt to stay on stage. Yeah. Probably go for like a down air edge guard. Uh oh. All right, so getting up oh. to back throw percent. If you're close to the wall, you might. Oh, whoa, oh wow! Man. I know it's 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 like stronger than Fox's up smash. Peaches, which one is? Peaches up smash. Is it really? Yeah, and that little like sweet spot. Like if you get hit on the ground, you're fine. But if you're like in midair and you're right. above her, yeah, you'll die. All right, so I think um, no, I don't think a salty run back's the best idea. I think, yeah, I think go to, go to your counter pick. Don't try to save your counter picks. Yeah. Usually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you if you think and you can win on a stage, go to it. Like if you can run back and win, then do it. But if you lose on it twice, I think it's time to give up and go to your real counter pick. Yeah. I think one thing that's so interesting about uh, like counter picking stages and stuff too is everyone has like preferences. Yeah, yeah, but and it's not like just based on like the character or the matchup, whatever. Sometimes it's just comfort zone. Yeah, exactly. And. I'm, like, I'm for sure guilty of, like, probably comfort zoning too hard sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> See, for me, like, my favorite stage to play on is usually Stadium, and that's, like, Wolf's best stage in, like, 90% of the matchups. But Right. Um, usually, I know Light really likes uh, Fountain. He, yeah. He's counterpicked, like, a lot of people to Fountain so far. I mean, and, as he should. Like, he like. counterpicks Fizz's Ganon to Fountain, even though it's, like, you don't want to go there. It was, it was comfort, and I think... Yeah. Even though something might be the optimal pick, I think it's better to go for comfort sometimes, you know? Well, it's optimal on paper, but not optimal in real life. Exactly. Like, <laughs> oh, this is my best stage in the matchup, but I hate this stage. Like, don't right. go to it. And uh, I think if you can learn to play on every stage, and if you have a stage that you really don't like, I think that's, like, bad. But... Oh, into the fire? Oh. That almost worked. It's yeah, like almost. You just DI'd out of the fire pretty well. Yeah, so this is usually like a long matchup, like Peach Zelda, but uh, it hasn't really seemed like it's taking a lot of time. Like each stock takes like a minute and a half, but uh, <laughs> they're making it exciting, which, right. which is nice. <laughs> None of them, <laughs> they haven't counterpicked Dreamland yet. I think I think Dwight is just banning Dreamland because that that's a mess. <laughs> Ooh, Dreamland actually could go to timeout. <laughs> yeah, um, I haven't seen a timeout in a while or ever. I don't really, I don't think I've seen timeouts. So I'm just saying, like right now, it's like, it's, you know, it's two, it's two minutes in, and they've oh, you've taken one stock. Yeah. And if it was Dreamland, like it's so, it's so possible. Yeah, you, you gotta. Know, oh my. Yeah, you gotta know that's in Dwight's uh, Light's head as an yeah. idea. Is maybe I can time him out. Like I know, um, I think like Fizz was playing Snake against them. Oh, he lost his jump. Um, he counterpicked him to like Delfino, and then he just timed him out. Like Light is yeah. no—he's not afraid to time people out. No, he just wants to win. Yeah, exactly. Like you're one game away from win. You know, you might go to Delfino and try to take his time. His attitude is definitely, well, do what you do, gotta do. Do, do something about it. Then. <gasps> like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so bombs are apparently one in one twenty-eight. And one in 128. Stitch is one in 58. Oh wow, that sucks. That's really common compared. Like Stitch is, I mean that's that's not that bad. Yeah, you'll you'll see that probably a tournament, but like I've seen like four stitches. That was a slow grab. You kind of like waddled over and then grabbed him. Stitches one in 50. Yeah, bomb 128. One in 58. That's like that's how many tournaments he pulls like a match. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh oh, I think that's it. Yeah, that, that's game. Or not game. But that's, <laughs> it's that's, over. That, that's that's over. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's the stock for sure. No, no DI can save you then. Yeah. Um, something I've noticed, Dwight, Light hasn't been getting too many down smashes because um, Naira's love just beats down smash. Like, it'll come out quicker. Right. So that's something Dwight doesn't have, doesn't have to deal with that the rest of us have to deal with. He's yes. down smashed a bunch. Oh, that was great. Covered the roll away. At least so far from what I've seen, I haven't seen uh, Dwight get down smashed while yeah. holding down. Yeah, usually. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's like... <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll see it like... You'll always see it, though. Like Every time you you see a Peach play a match, they'll always down smash. Oh, man. Yeah, every time Peach will always get a... Like, no matter how good you are, you're going to get down smashed. Yeah. Oh. And they're, just like you said, I mean... Light just comes and like yeah, it gets the kill like right away. Yeah, exactly. Like like Dwight will work really hard and get the stock, and then Light will just uh, take it. So um, also this is tournament stock for du uh, Dwight. Um, if he can take this, then he's he's in it. And then he has a he has a double counter pick, which is brutal. Right. You have to you have to beat this guy that you barely beat in the first set, but you have to do it twice on their best stage. It's kind of weird too because like what would be like a really good counter pick for um, this? It's like comfort. Uh, he could go Delfino because like both characters are good at that, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's usually comfort. Like oh. I know, I know. Light in the first set, he, his first counter pick was I think Fountain. Yeah. And I think that was to not let him abuse Dins Fire. Uh oh, don't. Oh. All right. This is uh, dead even again. <gasps> oh, oh no! I, I don't think that's it. You got like four pummels there. Three pummels. Oh, that. Oh, I, I, think, I like the idea. Yeah, I think Light was focused on... Oh! oh. I think Dwight likes to say, uh, going up. Yeah. All right, so Dwight's back in it. He's got two counter picks ahead of him. Yeah. He's probably going to ban, I think, Dreamland and Norfair. Those are his counter picks. That's usually what he goes for. Yeah, Norfair is in the other page of undesirable stages. And um, he'll ban that, and then he'll ban Dreamland because he's playing against Peach. So, um... I'm guessing Delfino's or Fountain, because those are just Light's two uh, favorite to go with. Light's about to go. Uh, there it is. Wario is Fox. No, I'm just <laughs> I know. <laughs> That'd be crazy, though. Light's <laughs> like Light's Ganondorf. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> it, it would be interesting. I would love to see like another character. To be honest, he has he has other. I know he has I, an Ivysaur. Yeah. He has a Ness. Kirby, I, I I, I've never actually seen his nest, but I have. I've played against his Ivysaur. Yeah, his Ivysaur. I don't like it because, <laughs> like, I play. I, I used to play. I, I played Ivysaur so much. I, I hate watching his Ivysaur. It's like really. Yeah, it's just boring. He plays it like Peach, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It's just I don't enjoy watching it, but it's still good. And then yeah, his nest is a similar thing. His nest yeah. is good. Yeah. So like, can't really edge guard him. Just kind of has to throw a turn up, and that's his edge. That's that's the thing. Like for this match, is it's just like you have to win. You have to get kills by damage. So, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, so you, you don't see like a big zero to death. Like that's yeah. like you don't see that. Yeah. Um, and so like if an SD does happen, it's, it's big. kind of the game. Like it's it's almost yeah, game like, over. If you like SD. every game has been last stock, last hit, except the one that uh, Dwight SD at zero or like at right. sixty, and then he uh, it was like a two stock. Yeah. And like this game, like. Getting the getting the stock lead is really important because now you can just build up percent. See, like, like that matters a lot. Like Dwight has to win neutral like twice to right. back that. Oh, Dwight's looking a little slow compared to how he's been looking. And so, um, yeah, he's at, so so like at this percent, uh, should Dwight just be like insta back throwing and just praying that Light um, DI is bad, or can you can you actually get a combo? It depends. I think. No, yeah, you're not going to get a combo. Um, I think down throw might do more damage. Oh, okay. And also, he doesn't want him to go all the way back because then Light will get back to, for free. So I think he just wants to put him in, put him a little bit off stage so he can uh, hit him with like a lightning kick. Yeah. But uh, over once he gets him over 120, yeah, I think back throw will kill now depending on where he is. We'll see now. Ooh. So yeah, I'm right on the edge of the stage. Ooh, that was almost a kill. Yeah, it was very, very Yeah, Dwight close. hasn't been going to ledge. He's kind of... Ooh, nice. He's kind of been... um, He's been up being... The, the ledge is free, and then he's just been opting to up be on stage, which is just giving Light the uh, option 
to uh, edge guard him. That's it. All right, down that, full that, stock. That's, that's the light special right there. Down air and air. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> like I've seen him do. Yeah, that he so does it a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's why Light struggles with some characters that can't get edge guarded, like like Game and Watch. Like I, I know he got um, he had a loss to Loyal at Evo, who plays Game and Watch, and uh, huh. he couldn't really deal with the Game and Watch recovery of right. not being, yeah, of like in, in like Game and Watch's recovery is just ridiculous. It, it, it's weird. It's like it's like Wario's, where it looks like it'll it won't make it, but it'll slightly make it. Right. And uh, it's hard to you can't just like sit on stage. You, you have to grab ledge, but Peach, Peach can't really do that. Oh, okay. So, okay, so, yeah, he's clawed this back a little bit. Oh, wow, I'm surprised that the fire didn't hurt him. I'm just standing up like yeah, that. Yeah, just the invincibility, I guess. All right. There was dot eyes right oh, there. Oh, here, here comes the... Oh, that was a glide toss. Dwight? I didn't I didn't know Zelda... <laughs> Zelda seems like the last character in the game to have a glide toss like that crazy. That, that's that good? Yeah, that just slides you. Pretty sure Marth has a sick glide toss. That seems right. I know, like, like Diddy Kong is, like, the best one. Does he? Well, I mean, the most usable because he has the banana. And oh yeah, well the most usable. Absolutely. Yeah, and then like also he can like glide toss back and forward. But um, I know I think Fox has one. Only forward I think, and then like there's some characters like like Wolf or Ivysaur, the two characters I play. They don't have glide tosses, or at least just, oh just at all. I think so. Yeah, I think they have them. They just don't. Whoa. They just like they really just don't go, go anywhere. anywhere. Yeah, it's like character like Dacus. Like Fox has a Dacus, but. You, but there's no reason. Yeah, yeah, you don't go anywhere and like, you stop moving. You're more likely to like mess up the input yeah, <laughs> than, than, than get yeah. anything good out of it. <laughs> yeah, and like his running up smash is already crazy. Yeah. All right, so this has uh, been in light favor the yeah, whole time. Yeah, it got, definitely like, has. Oh, all right, this is rough. This is the counter pick. Yeah. All right, I think light just uh, so, Dwight is uh, meditating, taking a minute to. Ho hope, take a hopefully, breather. hopefully not getting all too right. down on himself. All right. Keeps it I, even. I, D Dwight can can sometimes do that for sure. Yeah. Um, usually, <laughs> usually after, like after a disappointing loss, you, you'll kind of get, you'll uh, kind of feel it a little bit. But uh, mid set, usually he's pretty good about it. Like obviously, like he'll be vocal about it, but usually he's pretty good about playing just as good the next game. Yeah. Because he's a top player, you know. You gotta be like that. So he's, I mean, he's done pretty well this stock so far, actually. Yeah, he's uh, only taken 58, which is. Decent, right? If you want to win, that's like. Oh. If you want to win, you shouldn't go over like a hundred. Oh, I, th go, I, I thought he was gonna be not be able to make that. Yeah, if, if, if Dwight goes over like a hundred percent, I'm losing faith. But uh. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, that should be. Oh, Ooh, crazy! Surprise, he's yeah. alive. Oh, there. That's All right, that's game. it. All right, that was good. A, that was a good set. Good, good stuff to Dwight for taking a set. Yeah. And a game. Yeah. <laughs> Almost nobody can take sets off light. I know Fizz did in September. Yeah. Um, but taking a set off light, not an easy feat at all.